Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Do you want to make your tenderloin look like this and taste absolutely delicious? Let's go. In the Netherlands, pork tenderloin is the shizzle. It really is. And I think in a lot of places around the world, the pork tenderloin is a treat. And there's a good reason for that. Because it is relatively cheap, it is tender, and it's amazing. However, you do need to make it taste really nice because it kind of lacks flavor. So I got some pork tenderloin and I'm gonna show you how you can turn this piece of meat that lacks a lot of fat and a lot of flavor to taste absolutely freaking delicious. We're gonna do it on the barbecue. To get these tenderloins jacked on flavor, I'm gonna start with a barbecue rub. And I'm simply gonna start with two tablespoons of salt two tablespoons of paprika powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and to spice things up, I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of cumin powder. And then it's time for our secret weapon, the injection needle. I'm gonna load this injection, 100 milliliters of apple juice, 50 milliliters of Jack Daniels, and half a tablespoon of my barbecue rub. I'm gonna mix it up, suck it up, and then squirt it in. I wanna make sure that these tender loins are as loaded as they can be. And once they got everything they can handle, I'm gonna sprinkle on the barbecue rub. Don't worry about them being wet. It's just a good excuse to add another layer of flavor. Of course, I'm gonna be smoking my tender loins so that they become smoky, juicy, and of course, tender. And today I'm gonna to be cooking on the Kamado Joe. This thing is an absolute beast. First I'm gonna take out the grill grates and then load it up with charcoal. Then I'm gonna place in two of these wool starters. Now I'm gonna let the wool starters burn down and the amber catch fire. Of course, I gotta add some smoke wood and I'm using apple. This is just a small chunk, but it's gonna deliver just the right amount of smoke to our pork tenderloins. Now I'm gonna close the bottom vent to one finger open, and this is gonna limit the amount of oxygen that can go into the barbecue. Time to place in the heat deflectors, and I'm gonna set them in low position and then we're instantly gonna get smoke because the heat deflectors will basically close off the fire and the amount of oxygen that can go in and the heat deflectors are cold. So it's also gonna lower the temperature in the barbecue. I always take this into consideration when firing up the barbecue. I'm gonna take it up a little further than I would like to, then put the heat deflectors in and the temperature will go down again. Now all I need to do is put in the grill grates and I can put in my pork tenderloins. I'm gonna set them in the center. So they're gonna cook perfectly even. And with a core thermometer, I'm keeping check on the temperature. This is a very important part of cooking tenderloins. Close the lid and dial in the top vent. And I like to set it one stripe open. That should get me a smoking temperature of around 110 degrees Celsius, which is around 220 degrees Fahrenheit. While I'm waiting for my pork tenderloins to be smoked, I'm gonna make a sweet apple barbecue sauce. I'm gonna start with a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of apple juice, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, half a tablespoon of ground pepper, a tablespoon of the barbecue rub that I just made, a tablespoon of honey, and three tablespoons of cane sugar. Now you know that's sweet. And it's gonna work perfect together with our pork. The pork tenderloins are getting close to the core temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna brush on the sweet apple barbecue sauce. You can see that the crust on the outside of these pork tenderloins dried up and picked up a nice smoke color. I just want a thin layer of sauce on them. You don't wanna overdo it because pork tenderloins are really delicate. Now I'm gonna close the lid and let it continue to cook. And in the meantime, all of those sugars and honey are gonna get nice and sticky on the outside. Now they look absolutely beautiful. Time to take them off the grill. In around 45 minutes, they hit a core temperature of 62 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely perfect. With a resting time of around five minutes, these are gonna be done. And it's time to serve. And 
Now, this is next level pork tenderloin. I'm salivating. I just want to eat it. I'm going to eat it. This looks so juicy. How can this look so juicy? How this ordinary tenderloin? What? I'm, I'm all wet. Make your pork tenderloin like this and you're gonna upset a lot of people. Because if you invite friends over and you make them and they taste like this, as you say, like it's ordinary pork tenderloin. And then the missus asked the other guy, dude, why you never make pork tenderloin for me like that? Well, he's in trouble then. <laughs> oh, they're so good. Oh, of course, he can find the recipe on the website. I'm all wet. Yeah, that's the truth. That's the true truth. I'm gonna clean myself up, man. That's juicy. That's really juicy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The apple and pork is like a marriage made in heaven. It's so it's so simple. It's just pork tenderloin. And because it's so simple, you can add things to it. Like that beautiful sauce, like that beautiful rub. Ooh, double dip? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -mm. I just realized this isn't that expensive. I can eat this a lot of times. Might even eat this as a breakfast. Sunday breakfast, pork tenderloin. I don't care. I pork love tenderloin it. and beans. Pork tenderloin and beans. Come on, come on, slice some more. Come on. You're slicing them thick. Yeah, I know. That's what I want. I like them thin. And, and uh, I don't what? Like yeah. Because now I can add more sauce to it. The sauce is freaking amazing. Sweet barbecue sauce, sweet apple barbecue sauce. Hmm. I totally get it what you said about pork and apple. Pork and apple. That apple's supposed to be in his mouth. Well, normally we put it in his mouth, we put it in his belly, but now we put it in his sauce. And it's freaking delicious. But I, I'm guessing I'm eating the last pieces of pork tenderloin because you gotta go, man. You gotta make some room. Oh. You gotta make some room for the next video. And uh, I am sure you wanna click on it because it has all kinds of secrets in it. If you don't watch it, you'll never master barbecue. You'll miss out. Click it right now. In the meantime, I'm gonna thank the patrons and the YouTube members. Hope we'll see you guys next time. Until then. Hey, it's Mark Luke. And keep on grilling. Mm. Hey, oh. oh.